Hello and welcome to the PC Machine and Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. I know it's been a long time. Uh, I'm going to try to ease myself back into uh, making some videos for you guys. Uh, I do miss doing it, actually. Uh, unfortunately, I've been really busy and haven't had very much time. My daughter's uh, like 10 months old now, so that's kind of been my primary distraction. Now, for my first video, like I said, I'm going to ease into something simple here. I'm going to go over some free downloads, at least my first, first series of videos. And in this video, I'm going to go over malware bytes, anti-malware. Now, for those of you that don't know, at my website, that's pcmichiana.com, P-C-M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A.com, which is where I'm from, by the way, there's a free download section. Just go ahead and click the link at the top. And once the page comes up, scroll down to a section called anti-spyware tools. Now, there's four tools here in particular. We're going to talk about malware bytes. Uh, the other three are actually really good ones as well, and they are standalone scanners, so you don't have to worry about them conflicting with each other. So to download it, you can just select that link, and then select download, and then you'll be actually to, uh, directed to my uh, actual download page here, where you can download and then install it. Now once you've installed it, you will have a Malwarebytes anti-malware icon on your desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the one in my bottom right hand corner here. And once the uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware comes up, um, you're going to want to make sure you've done your updates. It'll ask you after installation to do your update before you open the software, so go ahead and do that. But if you haven't, just select Update and then select Check for Updates. And as you can see, it's going to connect to the server and download the latest update. This will carry all the latest definitions. Now, Malwarebytes actually is very good at removing spyware and adware and malware. Uh, malware stands for malicious software, for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's very, very easy to use. That's why I recommend just about everyone have it on their computer. Just select the Scanner tab at the top here. And uh, usually first I have people perform the quick scan, unless they haven't ran it in a really long time. And if it, the quick scan tends to, if it happens to find something, then come back and run a full scan to make sure you've cleaned out everything on your computer that might be infected. Some other features that are built into malware, uh, malware bytes are up here in the right hand corner. You can track all your logs, which will uh, tell you all your latest scans when you ran it last. As you can see, it's been quite a while for me. <clears throat> Uh, you also have settings here. Your ignore list will let you ignore certain files so that it doesn't try to delete those. Um, in the settings tab, you can uh, adjust your settings. You can terminate in an explorer because typically it can leave files open. Uh, I like to leave everything set to the default. Usually you don't want to you know, mess with those settings unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, you can do your scanner settings. Same situation here. If you want to make sure it doesn't scan certain areas of your computer, you can do that. Uh, this will also improve your scan speed. If you only want to check certain things, you can disable them. Your updater settings, you can have it do automatic updates. I think only with the full version, and it's the same thing with the scheduler. Those are only available in the full version. Now, another uh, feature available is the, in the More Tools, and they have File Assassin. Now, if it tries to remove a file and it fails to do so because it says the file is stored in memory, you can actually run this tool and locate the file that's in question that you're having trouble with, and then have it kill that file directly. So that's another great feature about that as well. Then of course you have the About, which is telling you all about malware bytes. Now they've been out for quite a while. <clears throat> they've done an excellent, excellent job keeping it up to date. It's still one of the best uh, anti-malware uh, pieces of software out there. Great when used in unison with a free antivirus such as Avast, AVG, or whatever you're comfortable with. Let me come back to my website here real quick. I'm gonna to go to the free download section again. And uh, not only that is available, um, if you did decide to download Malware Bytes at my website, if you scroll down, there's also free antivirus. You only want to run one of these on your computer at any given time. Uh, right now, I usually recommend Avast or Microsoft Security Essentials. Both of them do a really good job. And that's all there is to this video. Um, I'm looking forward to coming out with a few more of them in the next few days or, or weeks. I don't know. It kind of depends on when I get the time. And uh, feel free to swing by the website. I do have a forum for those of you who uh, have questions. And just select community forum at the top. Register. It's free and ask questions. Thanks again.